In our final session about the Prophets, we look at a minor prophet that challenges our assumptions about what the Prophets were all about. Before we jump into the message of Amos, think back to your reading in chapter 7 about the unique calling of this prophet. Amos was not a major religious figure. He was a simple shepherd whom God called to deliver a message of judgment. Throughout the Old Testament, there are no special classes of people God uses, but everyday individuals like you and I. King Amaziah foolishly sought to stop Amos, the prophet of God, from delivering God's message, and he pays the consequences for it. Amos does not say the Israelites are doing just one thing wrong, but several things wrong. Through Amos, God rebukes the people for perverting justice, taking advantage of the poor, and growing rich by the unfair treatment of others. In chapter 5, the prophet Amos declares that the people's failure to live justly and ethically makes a mockery of their faith. The book of Amos says that worship, without proper treatment of others, is nothing more than clinging symbols that God will not receive. So, when the people fail to care for the poor and powerless, God doesn't accept their offerings. We learn in the book of Amos that God accepts worship from people who seek to be righteous in their lives, and not just in their religion. In chapter 8, we see that caring for the poor and the needy and operating ethically in business dealings is not simply a good thing to do. It is what God expects the people to do. Failure to live ethically leads to God's condemnation and destruction. We must also recognize the implications of Amos' message about the prophets. The things God chastises and promises punishment for are matters many of us would not associate with a prophetic message. Amos does not simply concentrate on the presence of idolatry or the failure to recognize or worship God. Amos' message and the message of the prophets is not just one of faith and religion. The prophets are also concerned for the poor and powerless and urges to keep proper ethics present in our faith. The New Testament book of James echoes this idea when it reminds us that faith without works is dead. Amos is calling the Israelites and us to be the people of God by our beliefs and our actions. This prophet of God reminds us that it's impossible to be the people of God and take advantage of others economically. It is impossible to be the people of God and not empower justice in the lives of others. It is impossible to be the people of God and not address the needs of the poor and needy. Take a moment now and explore how the book of Amos speaks to your life.